It's your girl Kristen with Lux Book, and today I'm gonna do a fashion kind of journaling inspiration spread with you guys. Um, I don't know if this is too simple of a spread, but what I'm hoping is maybe you can take some of the techniques that I use to make this spread and make your own spread. If this is too much of a simple thing, let me know. I never know if this is something that you guys are interested in. So we're just gonna try this and just leave me your comments down below if you guys like this video um, and give it a thumbs up, of course. Okay, so to start, I need a title. So I'm gonna use Futura. And you guys, Fatora is a very simple thought, uh, thought, a very simple font, font. It's a standard font. And I know we love the script fonts and we love the calligraphy, but you guys don't sleep on sans serif fonts. Uh, sans serif can look just as elegant as a script, right? So I'm gonna use Fatora and I'm gonna do it bold. And I'm just gonna do this really big to see like what it looks like. So I'm gonna do winter because we're gonna do a winter, like a winter. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to put a space between each of the letters to just give it a more of a, I don't know, um, like a callig, not a calligraphy, just give it some flavor. Let's just say, call it that. I don't know what I'm looking for. So I got that. That looks super big. So I'm going to just tone that down. Okay. We'll work for this for right now. And then the last three to give it even more spice, I'm going to make that part pink. Okay. So here's this. And then I think, so we're doing winter and then I want to do fashion. So I'm gonna type out fashion, winter. And since I did space up here, I'm not gonna do space here. Actually, Helvetica New looks good, Helvetica New. That's my favorite font, is Helvetica New. By far my favorite font. And it's a simple font, but it's just, it's so versatile. Nope, that needs to be bigger. And the only reason why I'm not making this bigger with my lasso tool is because sometimes it kind of gets it crooked. So I'm gonna put that there. Grab my text tool. I'm gonna line this up right there. There we go. Okay, so we got that. And before I even started the spread, I went on Pinterest and I screenshotted and saved some photos of like the inspiration I'm going for. So, here she is, this super cute winter outfit. So my style, I love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crop her out and I'm using my freehand tool. And I'm sitting a little far back from my iPad, so. But I'm just going to draw. I'm not, this is not perfect. I don't want to completely cut her out because I want this to kind of look like a uh, like a collage, you know? So I don't wanna cut her out completely. So that's good. I want it to be a little sloppy. So I have went my title, I have my girl, and I'm gonna continue. So what I do is I see an outfit that I love, right? And then I find pieces online that might work for this. So I got photos of the jacket, a separate photo of the jacket, um, each piece of clothing, the bag, all of that. So, and I'm a little dirty here, my bad y'all. Okay, so let's add those photos in and I'm just gonna do the same thing like I did with her. I'm gonna crop them down. So here's a jacket that I found like that. And, I'm just using the freehand tool to crop this down. I'm not going perfect, it's just close. Done. So there's my jacket and my photo tool and I'm resizing. So I got that and I'm just gonna fast forward this part um, just so you guys don't sit here and watch me freehand crop all of these photos.
So now I have all of my pieces to this outfit propped down and I kind of placed them around um, the page where I think that they would look good. So I think I'll move this here. Actually, I think I'm gonna resize her down just a tad. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, hopefully. Hold on, I'm gonna have to resize it like this. I don't like the way this F is overlapping this T, that little bit of white space right there. So I'm moving it down to where I think it might look okay. All right, let me see. That looks good, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some stickers. So I think I'm just gonna start grabbing little stickers and then copying and pasting them over. And any of the stickers that you see um, in this, in any of my videos are usually my stickers and you can find them in my Etsy shop. I'm thinking this needs to be here. Stick this down here, make these just a tad bit bigger. Stick her right there. I'll move these in a little bit more. And then move all, nope, move all of this over here. Okay. I love this sticker, I'm gonna use this. Must have it, yup, need that too. And I'm leaving some space along um, between because I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling to add a little bit more text to the spread. So that's what we're doing. So just a quick note, I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm realizing that every once in a while my camera shakes and I'm so sorry if that bothers you. I didn't realize that the tripod was up against my desk. So next time I will be more mindful of that and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So now that I have most of these stickers filled up, or not stickers, um, the space, the negative space around, I still have this space where I wanna do some journaling. So what I'm gonna do, and I already did this um, before I started recording to save a little time, but I went to a spread that had a pink, like a pink area, like a blank area. So this spread has this little pink box and I typed in a little bit of journaling about each of the piece of clothing. So now what I wanna do is I wanna circle that with the lasso tool. I'm gonna to hit take screenshot. I'm gonna hit copy. I'm going back into my spread and I pasted it in. Now I can crop it down and I'm gonna use my freehand tool and very sloppily, I'm going to just kind of crop around that. And I'm gonna push it down to about right here. 
All right. Oh, and I want to paste again to do the next one. Make sure they're about the same size and paste again. And I'm going to do the rest of these and I will be right back. Okay, so I pasted in each of those um, screenshots that we took and cropped them down. And now I think I just wanna move some things around and kind of play with it. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is, in this one collection I have some numbers and I think I'm gonna put those on there. And I crashed. So this collection here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. So this is the one I want. I'm gonna kind of line up the O's so I know they're the same size. So I got one, hold up, one, two, three, four, five. And I think just a couple of more stickers and it'll be looking good, you guys. The magic happens when I, I'll grab this arrow. The magic happens when you, right now I'm doing it on grid paper because it helps me kind of line things up, but then I switch the template to um, blank paper or I copy and paste it onto a blank page in my planner. And it looks so good. All right, let's see. I think I want that there. And I feel like either this needs to go, no. I feel like maybe I need something here. A little quote. I don't know why I think quotes are so stylish. <laughs> Quotation marks. Yes, and that's it, you guys. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, click these three dots, the menu, and I'm going to change the template. I'm gonna change it to a blank page, hit apply, and that, sisters, that looks good. I almost wonder if this whole thing should be just a tad bit smaller. And that's how I would do um, an inspiration fashion spread. And you can do this with anything. I think it looks great also with um, when you do like home decor. And it's kind of just the inspiration board or a vision board. Or if you want to do this with your goals. And see how cute this looks? Like, it's sloppy, right? But it looks good. It looks like it's thought out. It's well put together. And this is not some fancy font. This is Futura and then this is Helvetica New. And you can see, but this is spaced wide. I paired it, I did uh, wide spaces. And then this has all caps. I love, I like either using all caps or all lowercase. I don't know why, but I don't like mixing and matching. So, um, I did all caps, some space on the larger title, and then the smaller part I did close together, and this one's thick. The winter is in bold, and then the fashion is not, it's thinner. So it's like, it's got a good contrast there. Um, I hope this was helpful for someone. I hope that you end up making something like this. And if you do, please share it with me on Instagram. I love to repost you guys' creations. And uh, it's at Luxbook Planners. And you guys, I post a lot of eye candy there. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I promise you won't regret it, especially if you wanna learn or love digital planning or need inspiration. I love you guys so much and happy planning. If you find the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah